Alrighty then, so have you ever heard of a game called Outlast or Outlast 2? Um, heard of it. But I don't Horror know games. what it's about and I don't know. Horror I've never games. played it. No, I, I know you never played it because you would never play a game like this unless you were made to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Outlast is a game series now. I think there's been two, maybe three. Um, and they're very popular. Very, very popular because there's no sort of offense. You can't fight, you can't fight back. You've just got to go through it and try and okay. try. Well, I mean, outlast. You have to okay, outlast everyone. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's that one where it's the camera. You go around and find the batteries. Put them in the camera. First one was a mental asylum. Second one was a sort of uh, religious cult. Uh, okay. It's all very, 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 very creepy. I feel like horror games have become really popular, and I just I don't get it. People like to be scared. Why? Why you... I don't know, people are crazy. Um, so, we're going to watch this. They announced, the, the company that made makes them announced that they were making the third one. And this was another gameplay trailer released at Gamescom. And we're just going to watch it, see what, it's, see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Because no doubt we'll probably end up playing it. <laughs> uh, so, shut up! He sneezed. Stop sneezing! <laughs> um... Yeah, we're gonna react and we're gonna see uh, see when we can get our hands on it. God. It doesn't matter, but hey. Looks like another hospital. It's a toy factory. What is it? Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh, it might be a two player game. Looks like you can fight back. It might be over there, this one. The only thing you could really do in the other two was like put your hands up to defend yourself. <laughs> okay then. Uh, God. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, we're all in this, all in it together in 2022. Uh, so yeah, it actually looks like it has the potential to be a two-person game. So if that's the case, <laughs> and now there's no way that's happening. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know what, it, what like what the settings meant to be. It looks like it's some sort of doll factory. But then there was. There was like what appeared to be like a, it looked like a hospital a bit though, didn't it? Like, is it futuristic? I don't know, but this is creepy. Whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, oh god! I don't like that. I don't. Oh, I do no. not like that. What in the hell? What is that on a, on a hand? It's a puppet. It's a puppet with a top hat. Puppets with top hats are cute, aren't they? <laughs> I feel like um, I feel like I'm the normal one in this scenario. Yeah, thing is though, I mean, when we played Resident Evil, we were both pooing ourselves a bunch there, but it was good fun. Did you not think Resident Evil was fun? It was fun, yeah, but it wasn't this. The whole idea, unless you can fight back, the whole idea of being defenseless and just, just having to run. and you having to run and hide and like survive is just terrifying. If I was in that kind of situation, I would just combust. But maybe this is like another scenario with Lego Star Wars. Maybe we go through and play all the Outlast games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I've actually got the first one on I PlayStation. Could, I could probably go my entire life that I haven't played those games. And I wouldn't be affected by it. Well, tough boobies. Um, yeah, I think it looks, it, looks, I think it looks good, actually. There's always a big one. That's the thing. In the first one, it was like a big sort of bald guy who walked around with his willy out. In the second one, it was like a sort of a religious fanatical lady with a big triangle on her head. 
think she had a big triangle on her head. And she had like a big sort of, like it was like a big cross, but it had like an axe. And she, she chopped your knackers off. I think the game developers have got an obsession with knackers. And male genitalia. I mean, it's usually female. And that, I mean, that's all not on video games, so it's usually just boobs, isn't it? Oh yeah, because you can get away with boobs. Yeah. But for some reason, the penis is too much. <laughs> I mean, um, I just don't like that. I just don't like the face. I don't like any of it. She looks like she's got a doll thing on her face, though. It looks like a like yeah. a porcelain mask. And yeah. you get you get chased around by a bunch of different things by the looks of it. Okay, so it's research and experimentation. Male, young, middle-aged, old, high, medium, low intelligence. And any available nationalities. Oh, well, you know, they said diverse. Speak English. English. Their native tongue should be selected. Oh. God knows. Lovely. But this guy's sitting there. Just this... Uh, this are these going to be like? Are they going to like wake up or something and chase us? Probably. We walk in thinking they're like previous officers or whatever that's gone in and died, but they end up. This guy's got like a radio or something strapped to him, and he's just sneaking past him. There's another big one. Got a big hammer. See how there's. See how there's this guy who looks like a secret agent. Yeah. Right? And then there's this person. Yeah, this woman. Oh, we see a couple of times. Yeah. And they're both mm -hmm. playing together. I think it will be. I think it might be a two-player game, actually. Like one of those ones where you can play it alone if you want, but it's it's better to play it with two people. If that's the case, <sighs> it's always the sort of the bright eyes. Creepy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and creepy. Do you think you'd be more scared playing this than you were playing... Well, when I was playing Resident Evil. Probably. This seems like... This this kind of... I feel like with Resident Evil, you could kind of get lost in the story. Yeah. Whereas with this, the whole purpose is to just, like... It's just... It's a game that's obviously designed to, like, have stuff jumping out at you. And, like, it's supposed to be... It's like, the suspense of, like, can you get away in time? Yeah. I feel like this one would be a lot more jump scary than Resident mm -hmm. Evil was. Which I don't do well with. I get stressed in those kind of situations. Yeah, you start kicking down the house when you <laughs> when there's a jump scare on you. Oh, oh, is that a? Uh, is, that a <laughs> is that his thumb? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was like a. It's like a trap, isn't it? It's like a metalized spike thing. Oh look, there's a guy hiding there. That looks like one of the characters. Yeah, yeah. Just a bunch of dolls on there. Is that a cross that he just threw at him? Yeah. Oh no, that's a bottle that he's thrown there. Uh -uh. There was a cross before that, though. Yeah. Oh, that's another one. I seem to always be obsessed with religion. I'm obsessed with religion, to be fair. See, this makes it seem like you can, like, you can chuck stuff at them. Yeah, and set down traps and whatnot. I feel like games are obsessed with, like... Horror games, like, like, um... The idea of them being controlled. Yeah. Where they're, like, they're wearing like gear and you have to like get the gear off them or something and it, like as a way to kill them. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm trying to get a good shot of him. That just looks like a biker guy. I thought he looked like a pilot. Oh, uh, yeah. He does have something on him by the looks of it. But he's got his sunglasses on. Might just be a male stripper. Uh. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on. What the hell was that thing? Oh, that's another good shot. See, this is a bit like one of those sort of serial killer shows where you can just pause at random times and you say something terrifying. Yeah. No, no, I'll go again. <laughs> that. Oh, what is that? I think that's the big guy that was killing someone with an axe earlier on. Yeah. Still doesn't board well, like, but you know. Yeah, I think ending with that there, being one of the shots, and obviously you see this partners in healing. Yeah, and you see this dead person. Is that the guy that's talking? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Jinx. 
Um, yeah, I think that that's meant to be there. It's like irony. So he's the guy that's talking. <laughs> How many days without an accident? Zero. The previous best zero. Um, yeah, I think that, that, that this is meant to be like it telling you that it's going to be a two-player version. As far as I know, I don't think Outlast has had a two-player game yet. Okay. So, if it is, guess what we'll be doing? You'll be, you'll be getting touch with one of your friends. No, nope. No, because none of my friends play horror games. I don't um, blame them. Um, I know, I never used to play horror games either. Just for the lols, innit? Um, it's like, but the thing is though, I feel like you you become brave when we do these videos. But I've seen what you're like in when there's no camera, when it's just you. I know that you're not as brave when you play when you play games. When you were playing um, the Resident Evil at Stevens, with the VR. that was different. That was VR, right? You couldn't even there's make out the there's safe something, room. There's something different about playing a horror game when it's just the script. I know I'm safe here, right? When I'm in VR, I've got the headphones on and I'm playing the game that way. I don't know that I'm safe, okay? That's the point of VR. No, you a different it's, reality. It's the fact that, like, whenever we play horror games, you're always like, oh, man, no, it's like, you, like, you need to face your fears and it's like... I have that ingrained in my head that I can yeah, use but, against you. Yeah, but if I can... If I, if I went back now and played a horror game in VR, I could do it. I could not... I, I don't think I've ever known anyone to wimp out as badly as you do. You sit there and you go, <laughs> like a <bad> breeze. <laughs> I've never done that. That's a bit of an exaggeration. It's like okay. no, but it's like I just I, I just I shake and I can't like I just can't. <laughs> I, I can play Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> anyway, mm. let us know what you think down in the comments. Do you think it'll be a two-player game? Do you think it'll be as scary as the first two? The first one was really scary. I remember I got. Jump scared once now when I, when the first Outlast came out and I had to delete it, delete the game. <laughs> but that was like I was still in school when that came out. Ah, oh. um, that's the excuse, is it? Yeah, like I said, I never mm -hmm. used to play horror games. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Like the video, subscribe. Oh, I do say subscribe. My outro. I do say that. subscribe. My outro. Like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? So you've just been telling people aggressively to sub subscribe yeah. as though you didn't subscribe. Want to say it. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Um. I wonder. This it does make it seem like it's going to be two player, but it also doesn't. Mm -hmm. It makes it seem like it's just a part of the story that you happen across someone and they end up dying. It might be two. It might be the two different things. You might be able to play it because some games come out and say you can only play it two player. So right. either play it, like a way out was one of them. Like you had to play either split screen or online. Okay. Um, so this might be like different game modes where you can yeah. play it as single and then you can play it as two player. Yeah. So I feel like it would be better if there was multiple people, more than two, because then you would have like a bunch of people distract while you run. Oh yeah, because that works out so well in Dead by Daylight, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I need to know